Hello everybody, this is Light Reviews and here I'm going to um, show you my first ever review on the Steel Series, Steel Series Z board. I had this Z board for one week now and I have um, very few complaints about it but otherwise it's a very good keyboard especially the standard keyboard and um, right now it doesn't really look much like a keyboard but the Z board the box comes with a wrist pad a steel I'm not steel I'm um, the Z board com com keyboard base and two keyboard layouts the gaming keyboard and the standard keyboard let's start with the base once you take out whatever layout you have on right now you will be greeted by these small little rubber bumps the use of these bumps are to um, put these pads the keys and rest them over these bumps and that's pretty much how you type now you don't need the layout to type or play you can just use the base itself and use these small little rubber things to type or play games with although I do not recommend it what you also see on this base are the power connectors each layout has a connector um, on the back on the top left and every time you attach the layout on the keyboard your drivers can recognize which keyboard you're using and switch it over your macros so you don't have to reattach your keyboard and then um, redo all the settings now what also this um, the base has on the top multimedia keys and shortcut hotkeys now depending on how you use your computer these hotkeys may be pretty useless to you but what you have up here is Windows Media Player, My Computers, Calculator, Notepad, MSN, your email, Internet Explorer Google, your Internet Explorer um, homepage, and this right here is a dead domain. It sends you to www.zboard.com, which is down. It's on sale right now. So if you want to buy a website, I'm, I guess go ahead. I don't know why you would though. And here is the Z Engine button that opens up the Z Engine for you to do all your macroing and stuff. Now that's all it for the base. Let's go over to the oh, and these are instructions on how to attach your Z board. Oh yeah, and. Right over here are let it focus. Well, this camera is shit though, but right there, if you can see, there's two USB ports, and the cord is long enough for it to go through a pretty long maze and then up to your um, to the back of your case. So. That's it for the base. Now let's go on to the standard keyboard. Now I do not know if this will be under 10 minutes. I hope it is, but I'll try and go fast as I can. Now the standard keyboard is, like the name says, a standard keyboard. It looks exactly like any other keyboard, but right here on the top, you can see key tips, which is pretty much just like the Z button. It opens up the Z engine for you to do all your macroing. Over right here is the bar lock, bar lock, bar padlock. Hmm, why is it not working? We have to latch it on. Excuse me. There. Now it should work. There, it works. Okay, so what does bar pad do? does as you've seen the green LED light is activate uh, um the F keys and do their own shortcut hotkeys such as, such as help 
home, fine, um, back, forward, delete, refresh, bookmark, and so on. But you can also macro, z macro these to whatever you want. And the whole keyboard with bar lock on. You can also do the same thing with padlock, which activates your um, number pad and do their shortcuts. And you can then also macro it to whatever you want and the whole keyboard. You can also do it with both. And it will activate both the F keys and a number pad or you can just like screw them all and macro the whole thing and you're going to do it when it's off it won't activate the F keys or the number pad but you can still macro them the whole keyboard so that gives you four sets of macros those one two three and four now it's not a silent keyboard it does make a bit of noise but it's signed than most keyboards the F keys are half the size as a normal keyboard and um, that's pretty much it oh and the spacebar is split in half so it can fold up um, and well there's not much to it it has a pretty nice texture and the Z-board logo on it and that's it standard keyboard like the name says now let's go to the gaming key set let's take this off attach the gaming layout and let's try to launch this ah oh, okay cool it jumped at me nasty keyboard I guess because I don't like the gaming layout. I admit it, I don't like the gaming layout. So, this is the gaming key set. As you can see, the, there's a butterfly style gamepad on the left, and then an awkwardly made um, keyboard. Um, you can see that the number pad is gone. It's it's pretty much the whole keyboard shifted to the right. You still have your arrow keys right here. The problem is this huge gap right here. That's the problem for me. I don't know why they couldn't just take these and then move it over to the left. And maybe you can have some extra keys over here. Maybe you can move this to the left as well. Fill that gap, and you can have a gap right here for extra buttons. And maybe the freaking back key wouldn't be over there in the awkward position. Well, that's just me. So, you can still use the WASDs, but why why aren't you using the standard key set then? The reason why you would want to use the gaming keyboard is for the butterfly pad. Now, I thought this was going to be really good uh, that, that I'll be using it for a pretty long time, but after a couple or so days of using it, I gave up and I returned to the standard keyboard. Um, the problem I have with this keyboard is that the keys are either too big, too small, too far, or too close. For example, this E button right here. It's too huge. It's too huge. Why do you need a huge one like that? I mean, the reload button is right there. It says reload, R. And it's very hard to reach over to the reload button. I mean, look. Reaching for the reload button is like reaching for T. I don't know if any peop anyone uses T for reload unless they use ESDF which I'm, I know some people do that I'm guessing they also use T for reload but if you're using WASD your reload is R or whatever is your preference but I doubt you'll be using T so yes that's the problem I have right here and um, another problem is that 1 and 6 they feel so far that when I'm trying to um, use my weapon that's on one, I use two. And the, my biggest problem is the run, walk, left, shift button. It is too fucking close. Excuse my language, but it is too close. I mean, it's right like right next to your ring finger. 
I don't know if they want you to use your ring finger but if they're trying to make it natural for you it should be your pinky I don't I don't use I don't use ca caps lock for my running or walking no I use shift which is on my pinky so it should be on, on my pinky not C. Well, C, I guess that's pretty good. It's a good place, but shift could be like a bit farther and to the left. Now, the keys right here are tilde, tab, pause, and left control, which is far. Now, they also have alt and the brackets. The jump is a pretty nice place. G and X though, I guess they want you to use thumb, your thumb for G and X, which I'm um, pretty much guessing other people use for the area around the spacebar, but I have a habit of just moving over and my thumb is all just about jumping or whatever spacebar is used for in the game. So um, F, the use button, I guess that's alright. Now, uh, this is a... Uh, I like using this for a bit, but then I found out how awkwardly placed the keys were. Although maybe you'd like it, I don't know. But look at time right now. This is pretty much over 10 minutes already. But yeah, um, the keys are circular. The F keys. Oh, and right over here, you have print screen, save, and load. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, that's the gaming keyboard dot um yeah never, never mind. Um that's all what the gaming keyboard is, so that's it. That's the Z board and thank you for watching my light reviews and oh wait, um I forgot. The standard keyboard and the gaming keyboard are not the only um, layouts there is for the Z board. You can also buy specific key sets such as a World of Warcraft key set or a Battlefield 2, Counter Strike, um, Ion, Age of Conan, and all that. You can buy those. Doom 3, specific key sets for that specific game. All the macros are on it. Um, the prints on it are, um, tells you what to do. They're all one touch. So. They're quick, easy to use, although all the first person shooter ones like Doom 3 and Counter Strike, I don't know I will not be using them, although I don't think I'll ever be buying any of those specific key sets. Why? Cause of this. I personally hate this. I thought it was good, but it is not. But that's just me. Maybe you like it. I mean, I'm looking at all these reviews online. They say it's really natural for them. So, or maybe you're just getting paid to say it good. But no, I'm not getting paid for this. I wish I was, but this sucks. All right. So that's my light reviews of the Steel Series Z board. Um, come check out my website at um, www.lightreviews.blogspot.com. Yes, it's still Blogspot. I don't have money to make it my own domain, but I'm trying to make money. So um. Don't know you just heard me that, but uh, alright, thank you, and see you on my next video of flight reviews.